Czechoslovakia. A word that sounds like hieroglyphics. And a country that got blown to bits in 1939. I'm gonna try and stop that today by becoming a communist and joining this lovely man. I mean, look at him. Look at why wouldn't you want to join him? You know, just look at just look. But yes, I'm going to be playing more Czechoslovakia because apparently I can't get enough of the country. And I'm gonna join Stalin. Should I disable historical AI? I've been screwed over so many times by it. Uh, go on then. Oh wait, no. There we go. I am playing with the Rover 56, so I have an extended focus tree and all the things that come with it. Let me actually start off with a decently sized army. Um, not many are equipped, and um, this cavalry template is terrible, but you know, we can we can improve it. Straight away, I'm going to put that on the German border. Research-wise, I really want to get started on building a massive industry. Uh, this isn't a guide or anything, I'm, I'm, I'm not good enough to do that. This is this is just people watch awful guide at Hoi 4. Haha, <laughs> funny time. I thought we've done this focus, we can go down to Red Unions and hopefully get that little communist bar up. I can put us up to partial mobilisation immediately though, which is going to help. What, what, what are you planning this game? What are you, oh, you little cheeky thing, what are you doing? I'm actually going to have my army exercise so I can get some of that juicy juicy army experience. Um. This might... <laughs> oh, why are they green? What? Hello, who are you? Are you still going to be my friend? I am not used to seeing a green Russia. So now I can add a communist revolutionary once this focus is completed. I wonder what's going to happen with Stalin not here though. I wonder, I wonder what Nikolai is going to do. It sounds like you should be in a Disney movie, not controlling the Soviet Union. They're, yeah, they're, they're, the French are going fascist. That's, I thought I could get a little communist friend to the, to the west, but apparently not. Oh god, and it looks as though the Italians are actually competent this time. I'm not gonna have a fun time, I don't think. What has this man seen? <laughs> if I can get a war off on the Germans early, then I think I could win against them. It's just sort of like 1939 when they get really powerful. Although this is unhistorical, so I don't know. Maybe Austria st might stick around. Yes, we love communism. We love free healthcare. Not talking to anyone specific. Man, who saw this one coming? It's the Spanish Civil War. Woo! Woo! I might even try and get Romania to become communist, because then I can actually share a border with the, with the Soviets. Or maybe Poland. Although if I can hold long enough, I guess Poland will be gone by then. Uh, we, we don't want fascism. How is fascism bigger than communism in my country? Oh wait, that's plus... I might accidentally become a fascist. Whoopsie, you know what happened. Looks like you could also try and assassinate Mustache Man like I, did my, like I did in my last video. That works quite well. I'm very, very nearly totally communist. There, there's no... <laughs> there's no com uh, democratic seats left in this democratic nation. There we go. We can become a communist. And bam, we are now communist. Awesome. Let's try and assassinate Mr. Mustache Man. Oh, there goes the Japanese-Chinese war. Actually, the China's actually looking really strong because they annexed, I think. Yeah, my clique. I reckon the Japanese are going to struggle. Oh! Poland's going through a, um, a civil war. I might actually be able to... No, I probably shouldn't. Oh, wow, the Polish Peasant Union won immediately. I might actually be able to make them go communist. That would be so good. America always ends up doing something weird in non-historical games. Like Britain, you know, it usually says democratic. France, yeah, it sometimes goes communist or fascist. America always goes either communist or fascist. And now I should be able to kill Mr. Mustache Man. Hopefully. Maybe. I don't know. Japan does look like it's struggling a little bit. Oh, they're immediately at war with the common turn. That's, um, man, that's rough. Where's the, where have all your chins gone? I swear you had more. Um, that, that wasn't, that wasn't me. That wasn't, glad to see you're okay. God, God damn it, God damn it. Oh. Right, okay. Well, they're still at war with Austria. I wonder if I could form an alliance with them. Well, let's just see if I'm going to hold. Sort of. 
in a couple areas I'm not. Join wars? Hell yeah! Oh yes, I just started World War II. <laughs> I'm part of the Allies now, I didn't even get an event for that, but... You know, I'm holding. Uh, I should probably stop attacking down here. I'm actually gonna bomb Berlin. <laughs> Screw it. I am... Oh my god, there's a massive war now. German, French war, like... Germany and then Italy's not even in the war versus all of this. Like, if I just right click on Germany... Jesus. Oh, Fr France decolonized it looks like. In fact, I'm not even gonna have them on a the front line. I'm gonna have them as a little fallback thing so that whatever areas get weak, I can just deploy the these guys and they can sort of fill in. Okay, see here, so they're about to break through here. I'm just gonna send in these guys and hopefully they'll get there quick enough. Please run. 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 Run, 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 what are you doing? France is actually making a massive push into the Rhineland. Uh, I've actually got quite a big war score. Uh, oh my god, I've got 25,000. I've killed double of what they've inflicted on me. Cass is king. We have actually advanced the province, which is nice. Oh my god, this has literally saved me. Poland is at war with Germany now. And for some reason Germany declared war on them when they have no troops on the border. Oh wait, we can push. We can easy push now. Oh my god, what were the Germans thinking? Polish Peasant Union, hell yeah. I've got 51% of the score. War score. Oh, I have killed 350,000 people. Mostly Germans, that's awesome. Austria's making a comeback too. I wonder if I can just do it. General push, probably not. Oh, Poland, Poland went after Romania. Oh, that's just cleared up a whole front. That's great. So now they can just put their full army here. Oh, I think Germany's had it. Now the Benelux are going to help. Not sure how much they're going to do, but I can't really push yet because. Maybe I'm gonna save before I do. I know it's E.T., but I'm this far I don't want to die. The Dutch are going all in with their- oh my god, the bicycle! The bicycle division! Oh, go all the way to Berlin! Oh, the Germans gonna collapse. Oh, I think they are! All of Berlin, <laughs> look at the Dutch go with their bicycle. The bicycle made it! Oh. Okay, let's stop the push here. It's it's gone well. We're we're a thicker blue blob. Why does the free city of Danzig have the golden panel around it? I thought that was only meant for like superpowers. But, oh, the Dutch only have two wall support. They must have just like ran round them. We are losing a lot more men with doing these pushes. They're very costly, but I think it's worth it. I think we've got the most wars. Uh, participation. We got thirty six percent. Yeah. Like, the only one that's close to us really is the UK and France. Just encircled a ton. Oh no, they've got a port still. But they're, they're isolated. What? Oh no, you're a fascist, aren't you? Uh, but that means they're not in the peace deal. Yeah, more than for me. Austrian? Austrian? What flag is that game? What flag? Yeah, this Polish division is the same way to hear I do. Just walk to their capital. Oh my god, Archie Cameron, leader of the Australians, look at that! 
Look at his haircut, look at his moustache. That, that is a natural leader. You know, not, not this fellow that's leading us. Like, realistically though, how does a country go from trying to kill the Germans with everything they've got to becoming fascist, one, and then joining the Axis and declaring war on your former allies? The Danish Empire's capital was Nook in Greenland. The words are overlapping, look, it says Gronland, and then when you zoom out, Danish Empire. What? I'm winning in Paris, I'm winning in Paris, it's gonna be Czech, it's gonna be Czech, it's gonna be Czech troops in Paris. Try and say that ten times as quick. You'll have a better chance of actually taking over Paris in real life. Belgian? I've been cheated. I walked into Rome first and it said it was Austrian troops, and I walked into Paris first and said it was Belgian troops. Oh my god, the British are doing so good in Africa. They've basically got like nearly all of Africa. Well, they're going to by the end of this, apart from little Portugal bits. And I have almost, I mean the Polish mostly, have almost taken over the new French capital city of, haha, <laughs> funny word, Brest. The German Reich's capital is Gibraltar. That's cursed. Oh, oh my god. I can, I can like, actually take stuff. Okay, well, I think I should be fairly compensated for, you know. We're gonna reach the sea. Just wrapped around two seas. <laughs> the French Republic. <laughs> it looks so sad. It's just a massive, like, blob. <laughs> oh, Poland didn't get a thing. I feel like that was a bit mean of me. That's very, very fun. Thank you so much for watching. If you do have any other suggestions of what other mods or countries I should play in this game, please do leave them in the comments below. And please do subscribe, because I spend hours and hours on these videos, and it motivates me a ton to keep doing what I do. And with that, see ya! <laughs>